Heather, what are you doing? Playing with my new torch. This is uh, the business end of Longevity's new Tigwell 250EX. I like that. Well, this new torch that you just came out with, um, it changed this little button set up here on the top. Old style had a horizontal wheel that you would have to work on the side of this knob, where now the new one has a vertical wheel, so you can work it this way. And then your on-off button, or on the new machine is here. On the old machine, you had to reach up across your amperage, you know, your, your amperage wheel there, and it was easy to hit that wheel and bump your amperage as you were reaching for the button. On the front of the machine, uh, they've changed things over there. See, things have gotten a lot more complicated up here. <laughs> uh, you know, much more of a touch display, you know, both forward and backward in all your different settings, and then three different adjustment wheels for, like, AC balance and your, uh, your, a multiple, your multitude of your adjustments are done with this knob, and then your uh, cleaning on this side. All your different push buttons to go through all your different functions, you know, both AC, DC negative, and DC positive. In waveforms for AC, you've got four different waveforms here now, uh, both uh, advanced square, sine wave, um, I think it's a soft square, and then a triangular, and then your pulse control down on the bottom. And then on the other side, you've got your TIG function or your stick function, 2T, 4T, and foot pedal are all right in here. And then your high frequency or lift start. As far as your display panel goes, you've got amperage and output amps and nine different presets that you can program into it. And then, of course, an over count and a, a power light. So a 250 amp AC DC uh, stick and T. Oh, yeah. And it runs on 110 also, 220 and 110. So I've got some aluminum here. Uh, it's uh, 16 gauge aluminum. I got some 16 gauge steel, you know, clean up the edges, clamp them down a little. Let me throw my helmet on. We'll fire this puppy up, see what it does. Of fun. You know, you, I think you can see in the video where you know the arc started out a little weak and I could just scroll it up right here, weld along a little, started to get to the end, scroll it right back down, turn the arc down, hit the button, kill it. So just like a foot pedal. What you know, were your settings at? Um, well I'm set at 125 max over on the machine. So with the wheel all the way up, 125, all the way down, I think about four or five amps. You know, turn it all the way down. But, uh, you know, functions the same as the foot pedal. So, you know, we're using it here at the bench. But what I really like is let me get out there in the studio where I'm working on something big, where I'm standing up or leaning over something. And then I don't have to try to balance on one foot and work a foot pedal at the same time because I got it all right here. That's kind of fun. I like that. Boy, it sure fits. I love the way it fits. So, let me flip the switch real quick, and we'll jump over to the DC side. So just a flip and a switch from AC over to DC minus. I left the pulse on because with this machine, you can adjust the hertz in DC. Listen to how DC welding sounds. So that's DC negative. Sounds like AC. <laughs> uh, 110 hertz over on the panel instead of 60 hertz like you normally have. 
So it seems to give it a little tighter focus, but just like the uh, AC frequency control would on AC side, but playing with the hertz over here, <laughs> that's kind of fun. So I think we got a real nice little machine here. You know, I'm going to play with it some more. I'm going to put it through its paces and see what it'll do. Especially this, this adjustable hertz thing on DC. I haven't even tried the DC positive side of it yet. You know, and see what I can do over there, too. But, so, you know, go check them out. Read up on them. I'm going to play with this. We'll post up some more videos later on. And you'll be seeing more of this one, believe me. You guys, find that subscribe button for me down there. And give it a click. And we'll see you later. I'm going to go back to playing. So now this is, oh. huh, I'm sorry, no, just, we'll just go, we'll just go. What? Did they talk? No. I forgot what I was doing.